y'all what's going on so listen i just filmed a video on how i make my iced coffee i've been promising you guys that i was going to um let me set y'all down but i was promising you guys that i was going to film a video on how i make my iced coffee y'all this is bomb mm. it is so good i want y'all to try it so bad and the products that i use is really really inexpensive mm. It is so good, y'all. But anyway, let me go ahead and put this stuff up. And we're going to go in the beauty room for a second because I want to show y'all this primer that I just picked up from Hot Candy. And if y'all follow me on the gram, which I'm going to put my hand right here, then I showed y'all this primer. So, yeah, I want to test it out. Like, let's test this primer out vlog style, y'all. But anyway, y'all, let's go in here so I can show y'all this primer. Let me put this stuff up first. I'll be back. All right, y'all. So we're in the beauty room. So y'all, I was going to film a content video. Hence, the background is up. But y'all, I just didn't feel like pulling out the big board today. Like this is the big board Canon. It's just so much to set this camera up. And I just didn't have it in me today. I really didn't. So yeah, that's why we're gonna do it this way. So I don't know. Like, let me know what y'all think about this vlog style review, if you will. Cause I just didn't feel like doing it any other way. Like I just did not. And my vlog camera, it's just so easy to kind of like pull out and set up. Like it's already set up. You don't have to do anything with this one right here. Every single time I have to play with the settings. Um, just because yeah, that's just the way it goes. And I didn't feel like doing that today. And I still don't know this camera y'all. Like here's the big boy. I still to this day don't 100% know how to work this camera which is so sad to say because it's an awesome camera and i just still don't know <laughs> so all i know how to do is just work with like the contrast and the sharpness and all that i do know that part i don't even know how to take pictures with this camera y'all it's a shame but it's a really really good camera and i love to um take pictures and stuff so one day i'm going to sit down and really learn this camera but y'all right now we're going to do the vlog camera that that what we gonna do today okay <laughs> so yeah so yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about the vlog style reviews and i can do more just because it's just easier to whip out my vlog camera and be done with it all right y'all so here's the primer okay the hard candy sheer envy blur primer this thing says selfie approved okay all right hard candy i hear you so y'all, I kind of wanted to compare it to this NYX Angel Veil. Like this is my jam right here. I love this Angel Veil. And the Angel Veil reminds me a lot of my Tatcha primer, y'all. Which is right here. And I very seldom like use this primer. Like I, I rarely use it, y'all. It's just, it sits right there. I rarely use it. Now, I do like it, but I just don't grab for it as often as I do my other primers and I don't know why I just don't but yeah y'all the Angel Veil reminds me so much of that Tantra primer like it's so nice and smooth on the skin it makes my pores look great like the makeup just glides over top of this Angel Veil primer the same way it does that Tantra but for some reason I grab for the Angel Veil more so y'all this SPF right here I found this bad boy at Walmart okay and it's called the equate beauty ultra light sunscreen lotion it has an spf of 55 as you guys can see and i did use it yesterday and it was really good y'all i took this sunscreen yesterday and i mixed it in with this maybelline superstay better skin foundation and it was so nice y'all it just laid on my skin beautifully beautifully and they compare this to the neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch um i have y'all set up on the tripod and we're working with natural lighting today which is great i love this natural lighting like i have to do this more often so yeah all right so y'all i've already washed my face and moisturized all of that good stuff and so let's go ahead and try out this primer and hopefully i stay in focus y'all but we're gonna go ahead and try the primer now this primer does have a seal on it and thank goodness for that so i'm just gonna take the seal off all right, and I love the packaging in general, y'all. This is nice. Is it a pump? I think it's a pump, but let's go ahead and take the seal off on the front. So they have it sealed on the front as well as on the back. And y'all, this primer was $8, and I think that's the going cost for like all of their primers. I do have um, 
a primer from Hard Candy. It's their Pore Defense Primer, and that primer was okay. But yeah, I'm excited about this one. Y'all, so as you can see, it comes with a top, which is really nice. Like, I love that feature. So it comes with a top. All right, and it comes with a pump. So can you guys see that? And it's so nice and slim. Like, look at this, y'all. Great for travel. I love how slim it is. And how many ounces? You get 1.1 fluid ounces or 33 milliliters, which is pretty good. I think that's the standard. So let's go ahead and pump some out. Ooh, okay. Ooh, do y'all see that? Look. Like, hold on, is it focused? Look, y'all. Okay. All right, so there is the consistency of it. It's really running. Like, it's runny. Can y'all see that? Like, I can feel it running down my hand. So, it's really running. And what does it smell like? Hold on. Doesn't smell like anything, y'all. But, oh my gosh, it's so nice and silky. Ooh, I'm excited. You know what? It feels really sticky-like like glue like Emma's glue has that sticky feeling so all right y'all so let's go ahead on and apply this bad boy okay let's see start on my pores first because that is the main place where i want to blur it's on my cheek area okay oh it's so smooth you guys it almost feels like a silicone base primer. Yeah, it almost feels like a silicone base um, primer. Oh, it's so smooth. It has like a lotion consistency though. You know how most primers um, feel like gel-like? This one has a lotion base consistency, which is nice. Because sometimes those primers that have that gel-like consistency can feel like really, really greasy to the touch. And this doesn't feel greasy at all. It feels really nice and smooth, but not greasy. So, y'all know, I can go overboard. Don't judge me. But I want to try a little more. Two more pumps. And let's touch on the forehead. Ooh, y'all, it's so smooth. God, that bad boy is smooth. On here around my mouth let's get underneath my eyes where I have those wrinkles see if this will blur out those lines under my eyes mm -hmm. do this side y'all feeling this natural lighting it's beautiful tell me what y'all think I love it Y'all, this feels so relaxing. Putting on because it's so freaking smooth. My face does not look oily. Let's see. My face doesn't feel oily at all. My face doesn't look radiant at all. So it's not one of those type of primers, nor does it look matte. Let me see. Did we read the claims? Y'all can't see that. Let me see. Let me get this in and then I'm going to read the claims real quick. Mm, but that feels so good on the skin. So let me see. Hold on. Let's use the rest of that first. And y'all, everything that I do is so overboard. Know that y'all don't have to use this much primer. That's just me. So what does it say, y'all? This thing is little. It says, blur away imperfections and achieve an instant ready look with our Sheer Envy Blur Primer. This magical liquid to powder. Liquid to powder. Okay. Okay. Liquid to powder. I can see that. Because right now, you guys, my skin is looking so smooth. And I don't even have any foundation on yet. So it says this liquid to powder formula is lightweight, silky smooth. They're not lying. Silky smooth, color corrects. No wonder, cause I'm looking like, why is my skin looking good to me already? 
and I haven't even put a on foundation. That's why. Wow. Okay, so lightweight, silky smooth, color corrects, fills in lines and pores, leaving the perfect base for make for a makeup application. Okay. So yeah, I, I see. Right now, y'all, I'm really loving the way my skin looks. Like seriously, and I haven't even put on any foundation. So I will tell you, and as you can clearly see, like it doesn't leave a cast on your skin at all. So you can wear this by itself, actually. And I just, yeah. Y'all, this primer is so nice and smooth to the touch. Like right now, my skin feels so smooth. I can't even explain it. It feels so smooth. Oh, so soft. It feels like I just finished exfoliating my skin. That's what it feels like. And so, so far, so good, y'all. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Y'all, I may have a favorite primer. Oh, my gosh. We'll see, though. We'll see once I get everything applied. But so far, I'm impressed, y'all. So, y'all, yesterday, I actually used my fingers to apply this combo, the foundation and the sunscreen. Um, and I applied it on my skin just like I was applying lotion because I was in a rush. And I didn't even use primer, and it still looked good. But today, y'all, I think I'm going to use a brush. And that is just because I've already pressed this primer into my skin, and I don't want it to move. So I think the best thing to do is to use a brush. All right, y'all, so I had to run and get my brush out the bathroom. And this is by Real Techniques. I don't know the name of it. Hold on. Does it say... No, I don't know, y'all. Sorry, but this brush is so bomb for applying foundation. So I'm going to take the Better Skin. And I kind of like this foundation, y'all. It's been in my collection for a while. And I really never use it, but I like it. I've been wearing it here often. So I'm going to take two pumps of the Better Skin foundation. And y'all, this is in the shade Coconut, I think. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, coconut. So yeah, I should have known it was coconut. So two pumps of coconut. Can y'all see that? And then I'm going to take one squeeze of the SPF. All right, y'all see? There we go. Y'all see? Two pumps of the foundation, one pump of the, or one squeeze of the SPF. So I'm going to take this bad boy and just mix it together like so. And y'all, this foundation does not have SPF in it. So, yeah. But it is oil-free. So, just mixing that bad boy together like so. And y'all need to grab my foundation brush. Let me see. Mm. Okay, so. Foundation brush. Let me just make sure this is all mixed. And this foundation is kind of red, y'all, but... The powder is going to balance everything off. So I'm going to take and paint this on first. Like, can y'all see? All right. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, so far, it's going on so nice and smooth over this primer, y'all. Alright, so then I want to take my brush and kind of stipple it on. Alright, or rather I'm pressing it into my skin and stippling is the same thing. So I don't want to disturb that um, primer. Y'all, ooh. Y'all, that looks so freaking smooth. Y'all, I'm liking this primer. I'll tell y'all right now. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I got me a new primer, girl. Ooh, this foundation looks so good over my pores. Look how blurring it is. Like, can y'all see? It looks so good.
you know, I'm sorry. Y'all know I blend for so long. I'm sorry. I gotta make sure my foundation is seamless. First impressions, oh my gosh, y'all. When they say blur, they didn't lie. Like my pores right now look so good. This foundation with this SPF is laying on my skin beautifully, just beautifully, y'all. It looks so good. Yeah, y'all, I'm pleased. I am so pleased. So far, so good. My foundation went on nice and smoothly. It blended out beautifully. It's laying over top of my pores beautifully. And I even really appreciated the way my skin looked before I even applied this foundation. So y'all, I think I found myself a new blurring primer. Listen, y'all know that I always talk about these large pores on my cheek area. I always talk about them. And I'm always looking for a product that will help to blur them out. And this looks good. Wow. Y'all, I'm just so excited. Like for $8. And I think this primer is fairly new. When I posted on Instagram, I went to Hard Candy's um, page. And they did have this posted um, on their page. Like I think they posted it like on July 19th. So I think this is a fairly new primer that they have added into the collection. And I'm excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And y'all always like to look at the ingredients. And the first ingredient is water, which is great. So it's going to be really hydrating on the skin. But it looks good, y'all. So let's go ahead and set. And again, I'm going to use this Laura Gella powder. All right, so let's swirl our brush around in this powder. And tap it off. And let's apply. So I'm going to start right here on my cheek area. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that, it looks so smooth. And y'all, I'm noticing now that I'm looking like up close, and I also noticed a minute ago when I went in my bathroom, my forehead area is looking rather dewy-like. And I'm not mad at it, it looks good. It looks really nice and healthy. So, I'm just gonna pat it down a little bit though, cause I know I'm gonna get oily throughout the day. But yeah. Y'all, and I told y'all like in another video, sometimes I don't go in with a concealer. It depends on how I feel and I'm not feeling it today. I just wanted to test out that primer. So let's go on this side y'all, let's see. Let's turn this way so y'all can see. But look at this y'all, do y'all see? Like my skin looks kind of dewy. And it might be from that primer. I didn't notice like any type of hydration when I was putting it on. But I can kind of see, like look how dewy my skin looks right here, y'all. And it may be because the first ingredient is water, I don't know. But I like that. It looks healthy. But I'm gonna take this powder and go over my pores. I'm gonna take a little more powder. Y'all, that's looking good, girl. That is looking good. what y'all think down below oh my gosh my skin is looking so freaking smooth right now y'all oh my gosh wow i do want to brighten under my eyes y'all just a little bit let me see let me grab i'm gonna take a little bit of this w7 banana dreams loose powder that looks like this and i'm just going to go under my eyes a bit just to brighten everything up just because i didn't use a concealer There we go. Oh y'all, got some on my lashes. There we go. Just wanted to brighten everything up a little bit. So y'all just added on some eyeliner. 
it's a mascara now i'm not sure if i'm gonna get oily or what have you because i did not put on like um a metafine primer with this primer y'all know i do like to tag team my primers so i didn't do that today just because i wanted to see how this one would perform by itself now this is oil free and this is oil free so we shall see hopefully it will um keep my oils at bay but i'm gonna go ahead and put on a lip real quick y'all my battery is freaking going dead all right y'all so i'm just lining with um max chestnut my favorite all right so the lipstick that i'm gonna go for today is by black radiance i had to think about it y'all and this is one of their perfect tone matte lip cream see that it's a really gorgeous new shade that joint is pretty and what is it called y'all it's called hollywood hot i like that and so i brought this yesterday y'all when i went to walmart as a matter of fact i brought this and this at the same time so let's test this bad boy out i did open it and i swatched it and so let me show y'all here's what this swatch looks like it's really beautiful y'all a really beautiful beige nude it doesn't have any pink in it just a really nice beige nude all right so let's apply this bad boy and i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it matte i might add some gloss to it now, let's see Ooh, y'all so pigmented It's gorgeous. Mm. Girl. Yeah, I think I am going to put a little bit of gloss. I'm going to use my Fenty. I love this, y'all. This is gorgeous. It's pretty. By itself, and I'm going to put some Fenty on top. Ooh, y'all. Yes. Mmm. Perfect new lip. Oh, that is what you call the perfect new lip for brown skin. Yes. That is really pretty. Y'all, my battery is going dead. Oh, y'all, I'm going to have to switch over to my, um, to my phone. But y'all oh my gosh look at the look it is so pretty we're gonna go outside in natural lighting so we can really really see what we're working with but it looks so pretty yeah i'm loving it i'm right, loving it so here's what we're looking like in natural lighting with this primer it looks a uh, freaking amazing you guys oh even the foundation it just looks so good y'all so good and i'm so sad that my vlogging camera went dead but i'm going to end this video right here but i just wanted y'all to see what it looks like like outside it is absolutely gorgeous i give this two thumbs up y'all my foundation is laying beautifully and so we'll see how long it'll last throughout the day but so far so good like look at my pores y'all honey yes yes I'm in love. I'm in love, y'all. I'm so in love. I'm so in love. I can't believe it. I'm going to walk across the street so my sister can see my foundation because it just looks so good. Like, I'm so impressed, y'all.